this tutorial I will talk about waypoint container and waypoints. These waypoints are 3D objects in Unity system but we are using the position actually to create a path for AI. These AI points are holding by a waypoint container and this container um, passes waypoint array to AI uh, controller. So first of all we have to create that container to create our waypoints for this there's a button in race manager also uh, there's a link in uh, raising game kit menu so I will use the raising game kit menu to create one when you click the menu item a new game object will be created and name it underscore waypoints and there will be two components added on it line interpolator and waypoint manager waypoint manager is a, a special component to manage waypoints and pass this waypoints array to AI so after you create the waypoints you just start uh, set up your waypoints for your track I suggest you to um, change your scene view to top view to before starting waypoint it will help you better view to seeing your waypoints if you have gi 3d gizmos checked please uncheck this to showing the um, waypoint gizmos better we have two shortcuts available a uh, new waypoint align waypoint to surface so first of all we have to check the waypoint container so you can create new waypoint uh, with this button or you can simply click the menu item or you can just click Ctrl W V K. When you press this K it will be created first web waypoint center of your scene view and your first thing to do you have to move that to your start position yes it's our first waypoint created now uh, you can uh, create additional waypoints and something like this uh, very long straight uh, roads you don't have to create many waypoints actually few will be enough but you have to stop creating them before any uh, chicane of uh, runs so I will place one here and place another here this will be uh, our path for the AI and continue to creating additions so in this kind of rounds you uh, have to add some more amount uh, waypoints to make AI uh, find his path better so I will add one to uh, addition to uh, entering the run then add some more okay this will be enough for this corner I'm using Ctrl W V shortcut so you can mm, click and create new waypoint with this um, on screen inspector buttons too or just use another um, waypoints inspector I'm continue adding the waypoints
when you uh, use circuit like um, tracks you don't have to um, add another waypoint to f finish point so you just simply uh, use closed gizmo and you will see it's uh, already closed but when we uh, start the uh, creating these waypoints you will see their rotation always uh, rotate to z-axis for local rotation you have to fix them like they have to be look uh, next waypoint because these rotations will be used after Christ respawn on track so for this I have to go and click fix rotations button when you click this fix rotations button you will see this um, rotation will be fixed to next waypoint they will be always have to be uh, rotated next waypoint so as you can see they are not the um, rotated right because probably they are um, they are not uh, placed right they have to be um, near the uh, track so we have to set them Sur near the surface so you have to click align the surface button this will be fixed all um, alignment to track and finally you have to click fix rotations too and you can see all waypoints are rotate to next one I want to talk about um, widers. These widers are created to define our track length. If you use pro version, um, I will try use this length to obstacle avoidance or um, creating its perfect path. So you have to extend these widers and cover the track. don't um, edit this by this individually your um, one of your widers will be over the um, track you just can uh, change this so I'm editing the widers individually here's another example And in some scenarios like this, we have to mm, slow down our AI before entering the corner. Like we have very long straight mm, line here. After that, we have a corner. So probably in this point, the AI will have more than 200 kilometers speed. When uh, in that speed, probably it will crash and not able to make turn if you don't make AI slower so for this I will use um, speed brake options 
for that I will choose the um, waypoints before the entering corner and give some speed break options if this speed break is, um, space 0 will ignored but if bigger than this value it will calculate by uh, AI and try make it slower to this speed in example I will use 100 km per speed for soft brake and 135 for hard brake that means if um, vehicle speed between 100 and 135 it just tap the brake to make soft brake but if it's more than 135 it will try harder uh, brake to make vehicle slower more will test these uh, brakes in the um, AI uh, subject I'm just initially configuring these uh, waypoints also uh, AI use these waypoints to determine its way as you know it will change next waypoint when past the previous waypoint after passing this it will break very early that means probably it will start breaking like in this position but I want to uh, make this breaking action in this point so I have to add additional waypoint to this area for this just pick the previous waypoint and click the insert waypoint button so it will add additional waypoint here move that to record position so click to align surface and that's it we added another waypoint before the um, breaking point so when the AI passes this waypoint it will choose that one and when this passes this one it will start breaking if it's not slowed enough it may continue to do cornering very fast so it's always better um, it's always better give same values to uh, next way waypoint 2 so I will use same values for this waypoint 2 okay we can left these waypoints uh, not configured for speed break because I I believe AI will slow it enough in this waypoint so it can take cornering very fast and without trouble for these corners. Mm, you may want to add additional um, speed brakes for these um, corners too, but we will see the um, results in AI testing. So I'm not configure this uh, waypoints for now also in this corner I want to add some additional waypoint too because I believe this corner requires um, additional speed braking so in this time instead of uh, picking previous waypoint I will choose to um, same waypoint because I want to show um, delete waypoint button works so I pick insert waypoint so probably uh, you will see it's placed wrong place and you don't want this waypoint in here in to removing that please don't use click and delete uh, option this is very wrong for raising game kit because these numbers has to be continuous so instead please pick the waypoints you want to delete and click delete wv pay button in this uh, action help you to move this waypoint out of waypoint array after clicking yes you will see this um, notification 
and when you click the OK you will say waypoint continues and your actual waypoint object move it to this position you just can click and delete this item so if you want to insert new waypoint you just pick previous and click to insert WVP button and this will add to uh, your waypoint array well waypoint system works like that so uh, we'll continue with the spawn points thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial